Alrighty. So here we have a layout scene. This is pretty long. Let's watch this whole thing here. <laughs> Let me help you, baby, by eating you. All right, so that. It's a very delicate landing. <laughs> okay, cool. There is also another clip here. That is the layout of the scene and what's happening. It's cool to see. I like it. I like your setup there, too. I think that's pretty cool. You got a couple notes here in your email. You are wondering in terms of the complexity and how much there is to do. I totally agree. This is so much work. So much work. And the believability of this guy picking up this guy. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be that fast. I got some thoughts on that. And you're also wondering maybe you can cut some of the beats at the beginning. I mean, you could start here and kind of delay it where... It might be like this, and then this guy goes, shoo, shoo, runs past camera, it's like camera shake. This guy shoo, runs past, and before it exits, maybe it's around here, this guy comes in, and you understand, oh, this is a chase. And reframe it so that we are slightly more left and under. Like these guys will be a bit more here, or that last one, right? And then you got the bigger one here in terms of framing, because we're kind of missing what's going on here. So basically, when I watch this, it's already, I mean, you would have to have, you know, like a text intro or some sound effects or something. That's that's quite some time before something happens. Not that that's a lot of work. That's no work, but just, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm all for mood. But definitely want to do something where some, I don't know, some nice sound design in there. And then suddenly it and then it comes by here. The other thing, too, is that you are going uh, right to left, right to left, right to left, left to right. So watch out. We're just kind of going on the 180, breaking the 180 rule. And I'm wondering, because we're seeing them run and then run right. Like that's already the big reveal, like they're being chased. But then we're seeing this again. They're being chased just from a different angle. Now the guy falls because it's so tight. The corridor is so tight. You mentioned the email. And I'm wondering, kind of piggybacking on your suggestion, potentially getting rid of these. I mean, you could do something where we flop this, right? So that's your beginning. And these go by. If you want like a profile run of them and then go straight into this shot, like I said, where they run and then the reveal is here coming in, towering over them. That could be one thing. This also careful we are. I will probably start tilting up a bit more. There's no need to go that low because we're really kind of missing a lot here. So you might also either change the lens a little bit or just kind of back off of it with the camera. So we're not that close. You want to see a bit more. Like it's a, it's a big moment and the moment you have that rear up and come down, we're going to miss a lot of the head. Now you might argue, well, that was going to reveal this too soon, but you know that the dragon can come in from over here as a reveal. It doesn't have to be that kind of camera tilt reveal. And then for this, it would be really cool. Excelling the weight, imagine, comes in and grabs this guy, where, like, the back or even the head. But then imagine, because it's so heavy, that like the dino's here and the dragon comes in with, with its legs here. Right? But then it's so heavy that the next shot will be... The, the dino is just kind of moved forward and then now the the dragon turn around like it's it's it slowed down the dragon massively going oh because it's so much weight and it drags the dino the big one on its head and pulls it which then lets go of the raptor like this could be like a cool profile shot too because it is a bit it, it is going to feel very light and you know, or it will have to have like whoo, whoo, 
whew, like a really, really struggling lift, which you can also do. You can just grab on it. You know, go back here, grab it, and then we tilt up, and it's this labor going up while this guy's trying to be like let go of me. And then the whole shot is, and again, this could be either in the same one or switch to a profile where there, you know, this guy will be smaller holding, but then letting go, and then the the dino falls, and that's what kills, breaks its neck, kind of thing. So it's it's less about. I'm just swooping by grabbing this, but it's more like I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna lift you way up because you can't do anything in the air. And then I'm gonna drop you and I'm gonna kill you like that. <laughs> because if it was a one-to-one -one fight, I might lose. So this this could be uh, a tactic. This for something like that, even in layouts, I would add some either a couple towers, some uh, poly towers here, or a grid as a background. Something where once we go up here. Being gray on gray, I'm not sure what the camera move is here. And especially once you animate, you want to really know what is going on. So maybe some clouds, but I would always put like a 3D structure there. So we understand is the camera translating, rotating. And I wonder if this takes too long. But it could also be impactful where you do the whole thing from like a wide shot, like really showing how high they are. and. Then that drop of the dino and then you got a close-up of the the head uh, slowly dying and then instead of all of this here taking so long even though you would show off nice flight dynamics it could be where's my drawing somewhere where the the dino is on the ground suddenly boom, the the feet come in and then we tilt up and then we just land it and that's the victorious pose at the end maybe but yes, then we kind of miss all that flapping landing. It would be almost like this here, but closer. The head would be towards us, tongue out, and then ba boom. It's just this seems suddenly with all the action, and you mentioned you want to be more like actiony and hectic. The victory lap flight thing might take a long time. This almost seems like a chopper slowly landing. So I think, imagine also this is that's for a demo reel and you want to show off stuff. If you have, if you do this where it grabs the dyno and then lifts it, and again, this could be a, a wide shot, slowly tilting up where we really see whoo, 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 all the flaps and the weights, you know what I mean? And it's, it, it's a dragon holding a ginormous dinosaur. That would be really cool to show off flight dynamics and weight. And then you drop it, that's a dramatic moment of, it might like the music stops and it goes and then that's the end which i would almost love to animate this right now <laughs> you've already shown off light dynamics so you wouldn't really need it here and this could be more the dramatic a close-up of a head finally dying and then cha -cha! like it's even it's already pretty much dead but why not land on this and really really squish it and then the camera tilt is up and we would be here but the camera would be this close and it's like an up shot and really a lens flare, sun in the background, backlit. I defeated this guy. If that makes sense. If not, <laughs> feel free to send me the Maya scene and I'll do a layout pass and just tell you what I'm thinking. Um, that might be cleaner and clearer. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I know these are some destructive notes and, and some big changes, but you know, this is the, uh, the planning stage. We can change a bunch of stuff. You can change a bunch of stuff. So let's see where this goes. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.